Hey everybody, it's me, Dr. Marcella Wilson. Hey, what's up? I'm Dr. Marcella Wilson, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm trying to keep the glare out of my glasses, no. Um, I'm a computer science professor, and I help people grow their social media following. So I'll help you get more Facebook page likes. I help you get more Instagram followers. I'll help you get more Twitter followers. And I'll help people with their blog. I help them build their blog and um, I'll teach you how to use your blog to build your business. I teach people how to have a complete business online. That's what I do. I love it. So um, every day I'm usually on here for about 20 minutes giving you a little nugget, something a uh, little to help you um, win online, win in your business, okay? Because there's a lot of money floating around online. I want you to grab those coins. Grab it, just reach it and grab it. Pull them out the, vir the virtual bank account, pull them out the sky and deposit them into your account. It's a lot of money running around online. Running around online, go get you some. Get it. All right, so yesterday I promised that I would talk about um, things that you can post about on your social media accounts because you have to post every day online on your social media accounts. You have to stay consistent and you have to post daily. And a couple of days ago, I, I told you about using a social media management tool like Hootsuite or socialoomph.com to schedule your posts in advance. So like I do, I go on, social on Hootsuite two hours once a week. I schedule all of my social media for that week. And what Hootsuite will do, it will post it automatically to my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter accounts. So if you look at my accounts, you'll see that I'm posting every day, but I'm not physically posting. I've scheduled it for, I've scheduled my content so it will post daily for me. You want to do that. So you must post daily because if you want to build a following, you've got to post daily. If you want brands to pay you money to post a picture on Instagram, you've got to post daily. You've got to show consistently. You've got to consistency. You've got to show that you're all in. If you want a, a company to pay you to write a blog post, you've got to blog consistently. Consistently. If you want someone to pay you for a tweet or to um, post a picture of their product on your Instagram feed, You've got to post daily and be consistent. You can get paid to post, okay? But you have to show consistency and you have to do it first. You have to show them you can do it before they're gonna pay you. You have to have the numbers and you have to show consistency. And you have to build a following. If you don't have a following, the brands are not gonna care. You can't get people to sign up for your email for your email courses or your online courses if you don't have a following, okay? So I'm going to help you do all of that. So people are like, i got to post every day. I don't know what to post. I have no idea what to post every day. 365 days a year. What do I, what do I post? Okay, that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to show you five quick examples, okay? Five quick examples of things you can just, pull out your hat and post without even thinking and these um, posts apply to any niche any business any um, genre education fitness fashion food uh, real estate construction um, leadership skills um, meditation, um, um, self-help, whatever you're into, whatever your business is, whatever your Instagram account or Facebook page is on, you can, you can, um, do posts like these. Okay. So I'm going to flip it on to my, flip the screen around to my computer. So you can look at my Instagram account because I'm going to show you some examples. Okay. You missed it. All right, so the first example of a post that you can do, I call this the collage post. So in this case, it's an outfit, right? 
have the boots, the dress, the bag, and the makeup that you wear with it. But it doesn't have to be an outfit. It can be a collection of items. If you're a fitness trainer, it could be um, a collection of fitness equipment like different kettlebells or jump ropes. Um, I've seen real estate people do it where there are different houses they're showing, different pictures of houses. I've seen home decor people show different ways to decorate one room, the same different ways to decorate the same room. So the idea is you want to show a collection of things in one picture. Okay, so there's one example. I also have another example. Here's a collage, you know, of different photos of myself. So you can have different photos of the same thing or just a collection of photos. So the collage photos are just really fun and they stand out. And I encourage you to um, use them um, frequently. All right. So another thing that you can do is... A close-up of a product so here are some shoes I like now I'm not selling these shoes but I'm just showing them as you know a fashionable thing but if you have products you, you sell product do an image of a product that you're selling or um, if you are a um, foodie a chef oops my hands are slipping Show a picture of a plate that you just created. You'll see this lots of times. They'll cook something and then they'll take a picture of it. Now, here's something. So, you can do something like this. The key is you want to show a close up. You want to focus on one thing. Just one. Okay, so before where we had we had the collage now we want to show one thing. Um, here's another one right here. I'm showing off the purse. I'm showing off the purse. So you really want to hone in on that one thing. Here's another one where I'm showing shoes. You just want to hone in on that one thing. So before we showed a collection, now you want to hone in on one thing. Okay. So another type of photo you could do is called outfit of the day or full body shot. So this is like my favorite one of me. It's, you know, you can kind of call this a collage too, but I don't know. But it's just me. So I, I should probably just use an example where it's just me. Something like this. All right. And you'll see this a lot. A lot of people, especially if they're in fashion or photography um, or styling, they will show an outfit. It's called OOTD, which is outfit of the day. They'll show you their a full body shot of themselves and um, they'll tell you what they're wearing. Actually, this was a picture of me. I was in Minneapolis a few months ago and I love Prince, so I went to... Um, Paisley Park and I toured Paisley Park and here I was outside the Walgreens where he would get his prescriptions I know it's a crazy place but I just wanted to see it but anyway <laughs> that's a picture of me so but if you're not in fashion or that beauty kind of business this still applies to you you need to do these shots as well and the reason you need to do these shots is because people buy from people they know like and trust if you're in the construction business okay if you're in book sales people want to get to know you people want to see you people want to learn about you so show yourself do not be afraid to show yourself i hate to go to instagram feeds or people's facebook pages and all you see is their products um stuff you don't see them there's no personality there all right. So even if you're not in the fashion industry or the beauty business, I don't care what you're selling. If you're selling pillows, show yourself because that is how you're going to make the sale. 
people are going to come for you. People are going to buy because they're buying into you, okay? So do this every once in a while, not every day. Throw pictures of yourself up in there. You know, hey, how you doing? Do you like my dress? So you want to do an, an outfit of the day. All right. Another one that is probably the most popular one are quotes. This probably is one of my most favorite quote in the whole wide world. The darkest hour is right before dawn. And I, I always think about that. It gives me a lot of hope when, you know, things are not going well. So you, what I normally do is I do a quote and I always am trying to get people back to my blog, my own real estate. Um, especially because if someone reposts this, they'll know, you know, where it came from. Quotes are probably the most popular type of post on the internet. They get shared and retweeted and reposted the most. So this is your go-to. If you like, I don't have any photos, get a quote or repost someone else's quote that you like. Here's a good one <laughs> for the beginning of the year. Dear God, my prayer for 20, this is what I posted last year. My prayer for 2016 is a fat bank account and a thin body. Please don't mix these up like you did last year. <laughs> okay, so always do quotes. Sprinkle those in there, especially if you're like, I have nothing to post. If you are um, an expert in something, a thought leader, you want to build credibility. So one thing that I recommend is I'm going to show you, let's see, um, you want to post quotes things that you say all right um this is a marcellism and that's something that i always say in real life oh that's a marcelloism readers get will get frustrated and stop coming to your blog if your content is old and outdated you have to blog on a consistent basis so that's something that's my quote so it's important that if you are say a fitness instructor or you're a self-help guru Make your own quotes and put them out there and have people retweet them. All right. That's how you get blown up and you get more business. I just did another one a couple of days ago. Picture yourself doing everything you said you would do this year. Dr. Marcella Wilson. I have my own hashtag and I'm always referring people to my blog. So quote yourself. Don't just use everyone else's quotes. Quote yourself and have other people repost, retweet your own quotes. Okay. The last type of post you can do, and it's probably one of the most popular, is a video. Um, and you know it's a video because it has the play button. So that was my Christmas, happy Merry Christmas message. Um, on Instagram, you can do videos for up to a minute long. On Twitter, they can be 30 seconds long. Facebook, I don't think there's a limit. But video is so, so popular. You definitely want to incorporate video in your um, social media posts. So as much as you can, do video. They take a little bit more work and a little bit more time, but you're going to get a lot more um, reach, response, and comments when you do them. All right? So we talked about five types of Instagram. Well, not specifically Instagram, um, but this is a blog post that I wrote about talking about Instagram pictures. But you can use them for Twitter, Facebook. These are the type of pictures or posts that you want to use that will get you more followers. And that's what we want. So this is on my blog. I'm going to put the link below this video. And it goes over the five. Not all of Actually, there's some in here that I didn't discuss. So we'll talk about the five different types of posts and some more that you'll learn about. 
And then you also have a chance to download the free cheat sheet so you'll have it forever. Okay. All right. So today we talked about types of um, posts that you can just put up because you have to post on the daily. You can use collage. I'm going to switch full body shots, close-ups, quotes, and video. All right. All right. So I'm out. You know that these videos are quick. I want to give you nuggets of information that will help you. Then we get out. It is so warm today. It was like Monday. It was like freezing. I mean, it was literally, literally like 10 degrees. Now it's like 70. What is going on? <laughs> Jesus is coming back tonight. Okay, so I'm out. I'll be on again tomorrow giving you more information to help you in your social media and blogging business life. If you want me to cover something, please just leave me a comment and let me know. All right. So I'm Audi for the day. Have a great one. Till tomorrow. I'll be on around noon tomorrow. If not, if you can't get to me live, just watch the replay. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Have a great day. Have fun. I actually want to, like, go to the poll or something. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.